Hi everyone, in this episode of What's Next, we are here at the State of Print. And in this exhibition, it's about the history of prints, the development throughout the years, and also the current state. This exhibition is actually by Fable, a local design consultancy, also in collaboration with National Design Council. My name is Elvin and I'm your host today. Together with me, I have Winnie and also Hong. They'll be joining me to check out the State of Print exhibition. So let's go! Okay, so before we start, I'm going to ask both of you a question. Okay, is print dead? Question mark. I would say no, not yet. Oh, no. I don't think there will ever be a yet. No. Yeah. No, okay. What about you, Hong? I think it's still alive and kicking, just in very, very small ways. For example, Newspaper has still been printed. <laughs> yeah, but just uh, it's uh, it's getting harder and harder to really like look at print or find prints. I feel these days because there's so much um, presence of the digital media. It's like taking over our lives, we're literally on the digital network, like every moment of our life right now. Yeah. Okay, so actually, you know, State of Print actually wants to spark the conversation of printed metal in the digital age. We are actually over-consuming digital media in today's world. That makes a lack of, you know, uh, appeal to the tactility and physicality of printed matter. Like the smell of the ink and also the texture of the paper. I think we are actually losing like some connection between printed materials, which is something that we need to find out if it's really true in this exhibition. So now we are here at the Rizzo postcard booth. Okay, so Rizzo is actually a very interesting printing method. And it's actually a very good printer to print like bright colored ink. Yeah, so you can actually, you know, go through a few times, you know, to get the very vibrant colors that you want. You can actually select uh, one or two colors, then after that you go through one time, for example, um, the first color is like red, then you can go through another time with the second color, blue. So it, this actually gives a very bright and vibrant, uh, you know, effect to it. Now we are here at the letterpress uh, machine space. There's actually like some of these um, typesetting stuff. There's like Chinese characters, Roman, um, A, B, C, D, alphabet, and also this kind of advertisement. Yeah, like, the, like a vintage printing block um, from uh, 1970. Yeah, and this is a very big printing press saved from an old printing shop. Over here, I find it quite interesting that they actually like hang, I think it's um, A2 size poster. Um, as like a you know clothes rack kind of thing okay so they actually hang it on a hanger and then you know leave it like a you know a, a rack of posters la. so these posters are actually designed by different uh, designers or design studios around the world yeah so as you can see you know uh, maybe example here we have uh, you know from Switzerland okay and also, a, 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 a Thai studio that I really love is T Knob Design. Okay, I'm not really sure about the pronunciation, but yeah, I really love this design studio. Yeah, from Thailand. Yeah, okay. And also from Singapore, we have Fable. Uh, yeah, who is the who is the organizer for this um, exhibition? Yeah, okay, so I uh, find it, it's like, uh, you know, you're shopping for a poster kind of concept. I really like it, yeah. Okay, so here we are at the Impossible Bookstore of the State of Print exhibition. Okay, I'm going to give us a mini challenge, which is to, you know, go and find the most interesting books, okay, in this bookstore. And I will be the judge, okay, although I'm participating as well, I will also be the judge, okay, to see who can find the most interesting book okay in this bookstore in a count of three one two and three let's go okay so before i start i'm going to share my you know tactic to win this uh, most interesting book competition you know because I'm, I'm quite competitive so i must have like tactic you know to win it okay so my number one 
uh, you know, setting is to actually find uh, a book with a very interesting binding, okay? I don't want to find like the, 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 the staple bind. I'm going to find a binding with like uh, the, 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 the sewn bind so that it looks more like premium. I'm going to find one now. Okay, so right now I have, I'm on this like the separate table. Yeah, which I guess are the more curated kind of content. I'm not too sure, but but let me check them out, okay? Hey, hi everyone. So I'm just walking around now. I'm trying to find a book that I find interesting. Um, there's actually quite a lot of different selection, but some of them are wrapped up. So like you see over here, Right, let me switch it over. Yeah, you can see that this is a very cool book because it's so minimalistic. It's so clean. Digits is showing digits, and it's just it's just symbols, and it's really showing us how interesting type can be. Okay, oh my God! Look at all this. It looks so beautiful. Okay, and. This has caught my eye. I remember seeing this at the NTU exhibition. So, I remember seeing Elvin appearing in this, yeah, in this book actually. And okay, let me introduce. And this is by Go Zi K. I hope I didn't pronounce it wrongly. Okay, to think of blue almonds. And yeah, it's about a reflection on various experiences of work documented in the form of conversations and comic. Okay, let me find a picture with, with Elvin because I can spot him right away, okay? And I hope you can too. Where is he? Okay, he's on this page. Can you find him? Find Elvin. Can you find Elvin? I found him. Elvin! Hi Elvin! Oh, hi. <laughs> Can you do this pose? Holding up something? This? Oh, okay, oh. okay, beautiful! Yeah, okay, my, you know my competitor are uh, trying to distract distract me from my from the competition. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 oh, yeah, my second tactic, right, is to find, you know, the, the, the paper, a, a paper material that is like, more of the matte kind, not the glossy kind because glossy paper always make everything look um, cheap. Yeah, so I will choose something, cho choose a paper texture that is like matte, okay? Okay, I actually found something that is quite interesting, huh? Um, not, not matte paper, but I'm hoping inside it's matte paper. If not, I will be quite disappointed. Oh my god, I found it. I found the one I want. Look at this, so cute, right? It's called, um, Every Hey, um, it's a book, it's a book. So we have a little note here. Um, for our friends of Fable, thanks for this amazing experience in Singapore. Hope to see you again here or in Barcelona. So it's a, it's a book it's from Spain. And it's a personal project on Instagram where every public figure is assembled and designed in this very um, cute style. So. Yeah. Okay, and something else caught my eye is just right beside to think of blue almonds. And it's called Zing as Embodied Pandemic Documents. Oh, and that sounds so interesting already. And you know what caught my eye is actually because of this this mask looking book. Okay? You think it's a mask from afar but it's not. Okay, and I love how cute it is. See, it even has like this, this mask strings being tied to the side. Hey, look at, look at my competitors. They are like, oh my god, they are still like searching for their most interesting book. So I'm just going to rest over here with you, okay? Because, cause my book is really the, the most interesting lah, okay? Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to sit here and you know, look at them, find their book lah. Okay, well now I have already found a book that I want, right? Let me just spy on them because I love to spy on people. Okay, hello. May I know why you're looking Hi. at? Hi. 
I'm choosing my have? final decision for my book, so like this is really pretty cool. We we'll just show my figures. Oh, okay. Yeah, but oh. Oh, you're not gonna see it. Yeah, the oh. choice of we will, we will, we will. I have already found oh, mine, really? so like I'm just curious what's yes. what's your favorite? So, yeah. So this is really, really like you know, cute mm -hmm. figures. Okay, Bradley oh is my god. Figures from around the world. Yeah, yeah. This looks yeah. like Elvis Presley. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll figure out as I look at it. This, it okay, this okay. More it's so interesting. interesting. Okay, I love that too. Okay. I would totally vote for you, okay? Maybe like set up a strategy. Oh I vote for you, then you vote for me. Then like. Oh. Or... <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Okay, we just use this paper stone right now, okay? Scissors, yes. yes. paper stone. Okay, I will vote for you. So, so, right. means what? Means I will vote for you. You have your own vote, yeah. I, you have my vote too. Okay. Okay, sounds great. Alright. Oh my god, I actually don't know if the, my two other competitors are actually attacking team art to oh. like, you know, beat me in this competition. Oh my gosh, I really don't know, but okay, but I'm very confident about my book, so, 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 you know, don't, don't look at them and, and look at, look at my winning book, yeah, okay, look at my winning book, okay, yeah, so, so let's not care about them, okay. Hello, Elvin. Hi, Elvin, would you like to share? I'm just yeah, here to spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious Look what you have. Wow. Yeah, you know, you guys, you know, you know when when you are very confident, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you know that you're gonna win, so you, you are really like <laughs> sitting here and waiting for a competitor to come. Oh, what the so heck? That's the, that's the winning mode, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So um, yeah, this mm -hmm. is my, what do you this have is over my book. here? Yeah, so, okay. Oh, wow. it's so pretty I, I can interesting. So I can review the cover now because then then then, then what's inside? You know, you 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 guys will know later. Okay, so we're actually back from finding our most, what we think is the most interesting book at the Impossible Bookstore, yeah? Okay, so how about we start with Winnie first? Okay. Okay, can you show us, you know, what is the most interesting book they found? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I have over here is called Zines as Embodied Pandemic Documents by J. Sim Jie. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. And this is such a beautiful mess, okay? It looks like a whole, whole, I don't know, collection of things. Yeah, but collection of very interesting things. Okay, and the very first thing that caught my eye is actually this mask-looking book. Yeah, oh, this book that, that is mask. Oh, mask as a mask. Oh. Oh, oh. All right, and what you see over here would just be a collection of masks in the wow. Okay, like all the yeah, where the wow masks are. And yeah, these are just very interesting documentation that I I personally really love because I I I kind of do this weird documentation of things too. And this is like a healthy distancing, a collection of healthy dis distancing. Um, images that he or she may have taken yeah yeah sorry I can't bring them up because it's all tied down but yeah it's just really interesting books that I I love and this bad news and this is actually a bad news to you guys because I have so many things over here and you only have what one book so. mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah so this is I think a collection of like um like fake news that that some people may have received during this COVID pandemic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not just this tree, but the whole collection. But I can't possibly go through everything because it's too much. Too much for you guys to handle, okay? So I'll just pause here. These are my top three of these zines as pandemic documents. And uh, yeah, embodied pandemic documents, okay, yeah. People say, you know, quantity is not everything, yeah, it's it's also important, the, qual the quality is also important. Okay, huh? but you know what I have over here, this is quality and quantity. Okay, okay. So much. Just look at my book. okay, okay, let's have a look. Okay. This book is a collection of like this little um, geometric figure. Look, it's, it's even like, like continuous. So, so like of, of different people in the world. Uh, and it's just really, really cool. Look, we have like famous figures, Green Lantern, in like these geometric shapes. We have like, uh, I don't know, this looks like some guy from uh, Love the Rings, but never watched it, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't come at me. Yeah, then there's Elvis. Yeah, so like, you know, like, um, 
this one is from Mario. Yeah. So like this, oh this is a red skull. It's like you know, like religious culture figures. It's just really cool that like it's such a collection. Yeah, exactly. So oh my god, look at this. If you are a Star Wars fan, you will know what this is. The robots. So yeah, it's, it's a very cool book, you know. It's, it's simple, it's minimal, it's clean. Choose me. Yeah, and very thick. Thick uh, and boxy. Yeah. They showed like quantity and also thickness. Okay, I think mine is um both okay quantity and also um thickness. Okay, why quantity? Because it, it has two sections, so one and two. Okay, and also very thick, yeah. Okay, so the reason why I choose this book is because yeah, it has this um I don't know what is this effect called. It kind of some kind of illusion effect when you like um leave the book cover. This this yeah, I I guess so lah. We'll Google and put it down below, okay. Yeah, this this um plastic cover la. Okay, so you leave it up, and then uh this is the book cover itself. It it, it has it uses this um. Uh, Graphic paper, and then with the prints of like um green and purple color um, I think Chinese characters on it. Yeah, so it's actually a um you know bilingual Chinese and English book. Okay, so the reason why I really love this book is because right, it uses like matte paper. So matte paper actually gives um a very like different kind of like. Texture and surface to it. It looks. It makes everything looks more premium as compared to uh. Glossy. Mine is matte too. Mine is matte. Too. Yeah. Okay. Mine is matte too. Mine is matte too. Yeah. So who is he competing oh, with? Yeah, wow. I don't know. Okay, but okay. Uh, matte. Other than matte, okay, it, it showcases like the different graphic design, typography, and like um visual exploration in this whole book. Yeah, so it's like an, an interesting book. Lastly, is because this is actually, you know, a letter B, okay? This is actually a shape of a letter B. Okay, so B for book and also B for bazaar type, okay? Which is the name of this book. Okay, so I think this is a very interesting book. Now we can, you know, choose who's the winner, okay? So, so we can actually vote. Okay, we have one vote. Okay. Each, and then we can just... Uh, That you think is the winner, okay? So, but you can't vote for yourself, lah. Okay, so oh, okay. Yeah. So if you think uh, Winnie's book um deserves to win, raise up your hand. Hey, you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> I know. But okay. <laughs> for real. Uh, if you think Hong Shi's book deserves a win, raise up your hand. Okay, if you think um, Alvin's book deserves a win, raise up your hand. <laughs> okay, the conclusion is, you know, there's 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 no uh, winning or losing. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, every book is actually very good because you know, this actually reflects you know the state of print right now. Okay, because print is actually not dead yet. Okay, it's, it depends on how you you know apply them, how you print them or how you design them so example for you know each of our book they use like different um, interesting design application okay to actually create the zine or the book yeah so in conclusion I think you know print is not dead yet and don't dive too much into the digital media and forget about prints okay the print is still very valuable okay so that's all for today's episode of what's next and let us know what's next to check out on okay and we look forward to you know finding out new stuff in the creative industry and creative scene in singapore okay thank you and we'll see you bye, bye.